In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a ballooning effect, or how to convert any object into a balloon easily in Blender. And we will also learn how to make them float naturally in the air. So let us start with our base file. Here, we have created different parts of a human-like figure or a robot. We will first join them together to create a single object. In the wireframe view mode, we can see that we have sufficient number of subdivisions added to these parts. Now, in order to join them, we should use a boolean modifier instead of a simple join, because boolean modifier works best in this case, with a flawless output like this. And in the wireframe view, we can see that we have these subdivisions here, and they are uniform across all the parts. So our basic object is completely ready. Now to give it a balloon-like shape, go to the physics tab, and enable the cloth physics. We'll go with all these default settings, but we have to enable this section for pressure. Then expand this. And in this pressure field, enter a value like 3 or 4. Then enable this custom volume as well. And in this target volume, enter a small value like 0.1. Now scroll down below, and we can use this section under shape, in order to pin the bottom portion of this figure, so that it remains firm. Let us go to the edit mode. The first thing that we have to do is, we have to select these four vertices at the four corners. So we'll make a selection for them, keeping the shift key down. Then go to the Subject Data Properties tab. Here you have to create a new vertex group. Then click on this Assign button, so that these four selected vertices get assigned to this vertex group. This will ensure that the model does not topple, or does not fall down easily. Now go back to the Object mode. We have to then go to the Physics tab. And down below, under the Shape section, in this pin group, we have to select the same vertex group that we have just created. And the other thing is, under this collision section, we have to ensure that this object collision is enabled. And we have to also enable the option of this self-collision as well. We can also add a floor to the scene, so let's add a plane. We will enlarge it by a factor of 5. And we have to ensure that it is enabled for collision with other objects. So let us enable this collision physics, and we'll go with these default options. Now, if we run the simulation, we will see that the model turns into a balloon. But the surface of a balloon should be much more smooth, so let us stop this simulation, then select this object, and go to the Modifiers tab. Here we can see that a cloth modifier is automatically added by Blender, because we have enabled this cloth physics for our model. Let us now add a subdivision surface modifier. We have to use the Catmull Clark option here, and these levels can be two. Please ensure that this modifier is placed after the cloth modifier. And we can also enable the Shade Smooth option, from here. If we now run the simulation, again from the beginning, we will get a perfect balloon based on our model. You can also set up some suitable material for this balloon and it will look nice. Now, if you want to show the ballooning effect or how it converts into a balloon, you have to play with the cloth physics settings. Here, we need to animate this pressure field. So let us first stop this animation, and then go to say, frame number 30. For this frame, we will change the pressure value to zero, and we need to keyframe this. Then let's say we go to frame number 60. We'll change this pressure value to 4, and keyframe this as well. Now we can run the animation from the beginning. So due to zero pressure, it will first collapse down, as if it has no air in it, or it is deflated, but soon it will inflate like a balloon, and then it will stand up and take the full shape, which I think looks super cool, so this way, you can easily convert any object into a balloon. In our next example, we will see how to add floating for any such balloon object. We have already created enough subdivisions for this object, which is very important for this technique. Now go to the Physics tab, and enable the Cloth Physics. And like before, we have to enable this pressure option, maybe with a value of 3 in this pressure field, and we have to also enable this custom volume, with a value of say 0.1. Ideally, we should also enable the self-collision option, which is available under collisions. Now if we run this, the balloon will fall down due to gravity, but we want it to actually float in the air like this. We can do that by manipulating this gravity field, available under the effectors. Let us enter a small negative value, like 0.02. If we now run this, we will see that the balloon starts floating and moving up. This gravity field is specific to this object, so changing this field does not affect any other object in our scene. We can also make it look better by adding some subdivisions like before, so let us add a subdivision surface modifier, 
with the levels set as 2. And maybe we can enable the Shade Smooth option as well. This will give a better look for our balloon heart. And for the material part, we have added a red material. Now, you can control the direction of its movement, or the speed of this balloon more precisely, by using some force field. So let us go to the add menu, and add a force field, maybe a wind. We will place this field here, so that the force is applied on the balloon in this direction. So pick up the move tool, and reposition the force field appropriately. You can use a force field alone to move the balloon upward, instead of using a negative gravity, but please remember that this force field will also affect all other nearby objects, so you have to plan it accordingly. Now in the physics tab, we have to increase the strength field for the wind force, so let us make it 40. If we run the simulation again, we will see that this time, the balloon drifts away this way, in the direction of the wind. That's how you can quickly convert any object into a balloon. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.